Hey friends, it's Holly from Chic Antique and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be thrifting for used furniture to flip. I'm going to go over what I look for, what I try and stay away from, and show you some of the prices that we have here in Portland. Little spoiler alert, they're very expensive and overpriced, especially for laminate and particle board. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. First up is Value Village. This weird couch thing caught my eye. Kind of wanted to film it just because it was weird. I've never seen a two-tone leather couch like this. And then I saw this really cute coffee table. Sadly, coffee tables do not sell well in my area. This one had really great lines and shape, had a feminine look to it, which I really like, but unfortunately it was sold. And then next to that coffee table, I saw this pair of end tables. They look okay i mean i don't really like a round shape like that but upon further investigation i noticed that these were bubbling so they're most likely mdf or particle board and it has begun to swell because somebody either put something hot on top or something wet so not worth the money especially 20 dollars. that's way overpriced next was this super cute hutch style cabinet i haven't seen anything like this recently it was super cute. I actually really liked the detailing on the glass. Some people might not like that, but I thought it was really cute. It didn't have the shelves inside, which was kind of a bummer, but it was really pretty in good shape. Had these magnetic closures for the doors, a good looking drawer, and two doors at the bottom. At $14.99, I'd say this would be a good piece to grab if it did have the shelves inside. And then there was another cabinet next to it, more of a campaign style. This one looked to be mostly laminate, some solid wood, but mostly laminate. But I really did like the pulls. Looks like somebody stashed a jacket inside. I don't know what that's about. But I couldn't find a price tag on this one, so it was a no for me. Not only because it had those laminate details, but it didn't have any shelving. And then there was this super cute Art Deco desk. I wish it was in better condition. I also wish that desks sold better in my area. Those and coffee tables sell extremely poorly. This one is listed for $14.99, which would be a good price if it weren't in such poor condition, but I wouldn't pay $14.99 for this. You can see the drawers are super damaged. I even wondered if some areas were moldy, and I do not deal with mold, so this was a no-go, even though it was super, super cute. Another super cute find was this oak dining table. I think the top was laminate, but I couldn't really tell with the leaves on top. But this was listed for $60, and it looks like the leaves were priced separately, so this is going to be a no for me. And then I found this super cute cabinet. It was very narrow and very tall. Would be super cute to refinish or restore. These two end tables I thought were really cool. I love the old world effect. If I got these, they would be to keep, but I don't have anywhere to put them. The style is really cool. I would never paint something like this. So if you were getting something like this to keep for yourself, $20 each would be a really good price. And then another section in the store, I saw more of these orange and green sofas and they're just so strange to me. <laughs> This super cute armor slash wardrobe caught my eye. It was actually way shorter than it looked. It was like a couple inches shorter than me. Super cute, covered in stickers, but upon further investigation, this is laminate. You can see here how shiny the surface is. Almost looks like plastic. And then these areas of damage, you can see the MDF or particle board. I couldn't really see. I think it's MDF underneath. You could see it pop through the damaged areas. So this is going to be a no for me. And then in the back of the store, there were a couple more items. All of these were particle board and or laminate. Not really my thing as they're not going to last and they can bubble and break and fall apart within a couple years. And then another bubbled piece for $20. I mean, these prices are ridiculous. I saw this really cute end table. It could be used indoor or outdoor. 
thought it was super cute. Definitely wouldn't paint something like this, $40. If you're keeping for yourself, it might be worth it, but I personally think that's kind of overpriced. I also saw this little white nightstand in the back. Looks like this was a factory finish, but it's actually starting to crack and peel off. The bottom drawer has a stain. The top one isn't so bad, but they're not real wood. None of this piece is real wood. $25, again, overpriced. This blonde cabinet was super cute. As you can see, there is cane detailing on the top and it had some campaign style hardware, which is really cute. The drawer room seems to be in good condition. This is a Stanley furniture piece, which is a very good brand, but there is one handle missing. So that's kind of a bummer. And I think this piece was designed to be used as a TV cabinet and those don't really sell in my area, so I wouldn't get a piece like this. $25, not a terrible price, but for what it is, I do not think it would sell here in Portland. Nobody uses TV cabinets like this anymore, even though it's in really good condition. Maybe if you were to repurpose the inside, add some shelves, then it would be a good project for sure. And then I just wanted to show you this guitar. I don't know if any of you play the guitar or any instruments. This isn't really a very nice brand, but I just thought it was appalling that they would put a sticker right on the front of the guitar. I mean, at least put it on the back so you don't damage the guitar. I don't know why employees put stickers where they do. It's really strange to me. Valley Village always has a lot of chairs which is cool, but I can't really flip chairs unless I'm doing like a dining set, which I don't do very much of the time. This really cute chair spoke to me. Almost has a tiger oak look to it, but I wasn't super sure if it was tiger oak or not. And then when I pulled it down, I noticed that it had a big crack in the middle, so that was a bummer. This would be a really cool piece to restore if it wasn't cracked. I just don't trust myself to repair structural damage like that. It was super comfy though. <laughs> I saw this super cute vintage Samsonite cosmetic bag. I love the color. It was in super good condition. If I needed a cosmetic bag like this, I totally would have bought it. It was in really good condition and it's just super cute. So I just thought I would show you. Sometimes you can find really good stuff like this that's not furniture. I think this would actually be really cute for staging too for like an MCM piece and lots of lamps. You can always repurpose and paint lamps to fit something that you like. I personally really love this blue and white one. I thought it was really pretty but lamps do have a lot of potential because you can paint them exactly the way you want them to look. And again, more green and orange chairs. <laughs> I don't know what's going on or why there are so many, but I was just cracking up. You can always find strange, creepy cat things at the thrift store. <laughs> I love old things like this, old silver and plateware, glassware, things like that. They can be really good to stage with. I know a couple people who restore this kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can find pieces like this at your local thrift store to restore or decorate with, which I think looks really pretty. I love looking at the teapots when I'm at a thrift store. You can always find super unique ones and really cute ones. This one was super cute. And another cat item. So many cat things. And this one at the bottom really caught my eye. It was super cute. And now over to the jewelry box section. This case here is pretty cute, but I don't know what I would use it for or what I could sell it for. And then there was this printed jewelry box. Pretty cute. I could never paint over something like this that already had the design, but I thought it was cute. 
and then this $3.99 jewelry box looked cute on the outside but once I looked inside this was definitely a no for me. I don't know if you've seen any of my jewelry box makeovers but one of them I did replace the interior and rip out the felt and that was so much work I'll never be doing that again so this jewelry box is a no. This jewelry box was pretty cute, good price at $6, but I just didn't really love it and I didn't feel inspired by it and it wasn't in super good condition, so I passed on it. If you need decor for your home or staging items for furniture, I always recommend thrift store. You can find a ton of glassware and decor for really good prices. I always like looking at the artwork when I go to the thrift store to see if there's anything that I could stage with or use in my home to decorate. I like things that look old, look handmade, look like they're made by a person. The older it looks, the more I like it. I love these vintage gold frames. I think they're so pretty. I thought this piece with the ducks was really cute and this one as well I liked a lot. I love embroidery too. And sometimes you find strange art like this. <laughs> And more artwork and frames. I liked these flowers. They were pretty. And I really like this black and white print as well. Next we're going to Goodwill. I found this set of nightstands which look to be in pretty good condition. Not a bad price, $8 a piece. The drawers work good and the tops are just a little bit damaged, which is pretty normal. The handle was missing on the top, but then I found it in the bottom drawer, so that was cool. But the bottom drawer on the left either was missing the track or was off the track, so I had to pass on these. I do not like to mess with drawers that are broken or need any repairs just because I'm not super familiar with them and it's hard to fix drawers, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Then I saw this little cabinet. Looks like somebody had spray painted it gold, which is kind of funny. It was a lot brighter in person, more yellow. Just wanted to show you. It looks like it held up pretty well, so whoever painted this did a pretty good job. However, I wouldn't get this piece because I don't know how they prepped this piece and this design is not my style. Then I saw this little end table. I think these can be found at Ikea. You can see here it is laminate. You can tell by that plastic surface and also by the foot in the back which has expanded. And I looked through the artwork. I didn't really find anything I liked but at the moment I don't really need any artwork so that was okay. Then I found this dresser. It's missing the front cake plate. So that was the first no for me. Second was the drawers were extremely sticky. I don't know if they were warped or damaged or what, but they were very hard to open and close and I would not pay $30 for this. Next to that dresser was this smaller vintage dresser. It looks like somebody had painted it. I don't know if they used lacquer paint or wall paint or furniture paint, but regardless, it was super shiny, super textured, and the drawers were not sliding in. I don't know if it was because the drawers were painted inside and out. You can see the damage from the drawer opening, and the bottom one didn't seem to have a track on it. It was hard to open and close as well, so that was a no for me too. Again, lots more silver at this store. 
really pretty good for staging antiques and vintage pieces. And then I found this super cute tea set. If I needed a tea set, I totally would have picked this up because it was just so cute. I love the floral design on it. And then if you go in the vase section and the jar section, all of this stuff, this is where I find pieces to spray paint. You can find pieces with really good shapes, but if you don't like the color, you can spray paint it to make it match your style. I have never done a cedar chest before, but I found this one. It had some issues with it, so it was a no for me, but I thought I would just show you why I didn't pick it up. It was $50. The damage to the top wasn't too bad, but when I opened it, it just had this mothball scent, which I'm pretty sure is normal to prevent moths and other things getting in the chest, but that smell was just so gross. So this was a no. And then underneath it was this coffee table. Again, coffee tables really do not sell well for me in my area. And this was a laminate one and not my style, so I passed on it. Next to that was this really cute chair. It looks like somebody had painted it. Looks like a chalk paint and they probably used a wax on top. You can see all the texture. I personally like texture, but it looked like they had just overworked this paint and applied too much. This living room set was really cute if you like that rustic home style. I would leave it as is. I wouldn't paint something like this. I probably wouldn't even refinish it or restore it either. It just looks cute how it is. Then I saw this laminate table. I don't know what this top is supposed to be, like a marble. Obviously it's laminate, but it's pretending to be marble, I think. And it was super damaged. You can see in this corner, it's actually MDF underneath that laminate. So if you get a piece like this wet, it's going to expand and bubble underneath. So that's why I don't like laminate and MDF in particle board. They are not durable and they do not last. This little table was super cute. It could be used as a plant stand. It would be really easy to make over, either restoring it or painting it, but it was really wobbly, so I had to pass on it. Then, whoa, this green dresser. Again, somebody had painted it and lots and lots of texture. I don't know if they use wall paint for this, but it was pretty shiny and it had a ton of brush strokes on it. So I'm not sure if they used the wrong kind of paint for this or if they just really globbed it on there. But I do not mess with previously painted pieces, so I passed on it. Then I found this super cute dining chair. I wish I had a use for it because that cane is in perfect condition. I totally could have picked this up, but I just didn't need it and it didn't need restoring. So hopefully somebody else can buy it and appreciate that beautiful caning. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you know that I didn't pick up any of the pieces I found, which is kind of a bummer, but honestly, that's really typical for me. I usually don't find pieces at the thrift store. It's pretty uncommon for me. I usually shop on Marketplace and OfferUp and Craigslist. I usually have more success there. Um, the reason being is one, I'm really picky. So I really have a lot of rules for picking out a piece of furniture. And two, when people are donating furniture, it's usually because it's in poor condition and they can't get any money for it. So it's gonna be harder to find good used furniture at the thrift store because most people donate things that are badly damaged and very used. And the third reason for this is that at the thrift store, pieces are very expensive. I guess they're overpriced and expensive on Marketplace too but it's definitely very apparent at thrift stores nearby that things are overpriced and expensive, especially for particle board, as you saw, and laminate pieces, which are not real wood. Those pieces do not hold value and 
they do not last throughout the years. So those are the reasons why I don't usually shop at the thrift store, but it's always fun to see what I can find and I hope you enjoyed the process along the way. So if you like this style of video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. That way you're notified every time I upload. And I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. doesn't even make any sense. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. I'm losing it. Why do you keep saying it like that?